Greetings, my fellow fans of the written word. Today we have something different. This is going to be a brief video, uh, just an announcement. So a little background. Uh, two weeks ago, a booktuber that I really enjoy and who actually inspired me to do uh, make my own uh, booktube channel. Uh, his name is Thomas. He has a channel named SFF 180 and he kind of came up with a readathon for the month of September. And the theme of this uh, readathon will be space opera. So it's going to be a space opera September. So I decided to participate and he outlined four challenges for everyone who wants to participate, be it someone with a channel, uh, if you, any of you guys have channels or just want to read along and comment along with your choices. So uh, there are five books that I'll be reading because it's roughly one book per week. So challenge number one will be a space opera novella. Easy enough. My choice for readathon is Troika by Alistair Reynolds. Um, he is an author that's famous in the hard SF community. He, his Revelation Space series is very well regarded. My history with him, I did not read Revelation Space, but I did read the first book in the Poseidon's Children series, which admittedly, it kind of left me cold. That was probably my mistake because Everyone tells me that it's one of his uh, weaker entries, or at least not as a newcomer friendly. So I'll be reading his novella, Troika. And what's it about? It's about a group of Russian cosmonauts encountering a BDO, a big dumb object. A big dumb object or BDO, it's a very old school sci-fi trope, essentially. Uh, I think the the most famous work with a big dumb object theme is, of course, Rendezvous with Drama by Arthur C. Clarke. And I had a brief period of fascination with such novels after I read Rendezvous with Drama. Don't read the sequels, I really don't recommend them. But back in the day, I really liked this type of sci-fi. I kind of stopped reading this type of sci-fi some time ago, so it will be interesting to revisit and see if it works in a short form. Next, uh, or let's say challenge number two, for week two we have either two space operas written by women or one space opera written by or with diverse subject matter. So. I chosen to read two novels by women. Uh, first of them will be The Stars Are Legion by Cameron Hurley. Uh, and that's just for a simple reason that it was already on my TBR. I had it there for some time. I heard that it's a bunkers book in a good way. So we'll see. I'll go in blind with that one. The second book for this challenge will be The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This is the first book in her Wayfarers trilogy, I believe. I heard some great things about it. Uh, it's apparently lighthearted, fun, cozy even, and we'll see how it goes. Now for week three, uh, the challenge is a space opera novel before you were born. So I was born in 1991 and 27 and I choose the first Ringworld novel by Larry Niven, the titular uh, Ringworld. Um, a Ringworld is a seminal series and a seminal novel in the genre. It's considered a classic and to my great shame I have never read it until now, and I want to change that, so I'll be diving into that. Lastly, challenge number four, a space opera with 500 pages or more. I 
choose Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky. And this is a novel that's also on my TBR, and it's quite high on my TBR, so I'll be moving it up quite a bit. Um, I've read his recent novella, Walking to Aldebaran. I really enjoyed it. It was very introspective, almost, uh, I would even say, experimental at parts. Uh, he also wrote quite a bit of fantasy before writing uh, space opera and sci-fi, so it will be interesting to see how he handles this. So, if you want to join me, uh, please feel free to comment on this video or on uh, future videos that will contain reviews or my comments about the book I'm reading. Um, the Readathon has an official uh, Goodreads group. If you use Goodreads, I'm going to link it into the description as well as um, Thomas's YouTube channel, so you can participate that way if you, you'd like. And, well, hopefully it will be fun. Um, this will not impact or slow down my Let's Read series of Wheel of Time in any way. If anything, this is just going to mean that I'll have more videos. So, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.